loyalty to family, personal freedom, and the threat of state intrusion into private lives are the central themes here. The sanctity of the family unit is cherished, and many view government or external meddling in family affairs with suspicion. In a society fractured by political polarization, the act of a son reporting his father to authorities, especially in a charged context like January 6th, can be seen as a troubling sign of how political rifts can tear families apart. To work again, turn in your father. Well, the tip actually came in from before January 6th. Uh, my dad was getting way more radicalized as uh, time went on following Trump and uh, isolating himself more and more. And it uh, was terrifying. What were some of the signs you saw? Uh, you know, he's watching all sorts of media that was terrifying. He isolated himself to online groups that were far right radical. And uh, he was growing more and more violent, uh, not to just the family, but to the people around him. And it uh, scared me. And then when you saw it January 6th, how soon after did you realize your father was involved that you had to act further? Uh, it was uh, while they were pointing guns at the doors of uh, the, the house. You saw him there? I my, He was texting my mom and uh, FaceTiming her. And... Uh, it was a uh, delusional. And did you have any hesitation about going further? I mean, he is your father, but as you say, you, you saw him there with guns and, and prosecutors said he lit the match of January 6th. Of course. Um, it was the hardest decision I've ever made and it continues to haunt me to this day. But, you know, I don't regret it. And uh, I still feel for him and my family. Mm -hmm. So, Stephen, uh, let's turn. This situation is often compared to totalitarian regimes that manipulated children into betraying their parents, fostering fears that excessive government control and rigid political correctness could erode trust within families, communities, and even nations. When children are encouraged to expose their parents' political beliefs or actions, it evokes unsettling memories of authoritarian regimes using citizens to sow distrust and maintain control. Concerns about wrong think and potential ramifications tied to Kamala Harris's election resonate with broader anxieties around increasing government surveillance, censorship, and the suppression of free speech. Conservatives, in particular, hold individual freedom as a core value and strongly oppose the idea of a government targeting dissenters. The use of children to further such agendas is seen as especially insidious, as it strikes at the heart of the family's role as a foundation of moral guidance and loyalty. In this case, the son's fear of his father's radicalization and potential for violence seems to override his familial loyalty, leading him to make the painful choice to turn his father in. The emotional fallout is palpable, as the son himself describes the decision as haunting, the most difficult he's ever faced. This highlights the deep psychological conflict and guilt he feels torn between his love for his father and his belief that his father poses a danger to those around him. 